Hi there, let's get started. I have the Canva Pro account. And so I am going to go into custom size here. And I, you can change this to pixels, inches, millimeters, centimeters, whatever you want. And then you can do your width and height. I like to work with an eight by eight inch. And so I'm just gonna pick that one right now. And then I went into my Creative Fabrica account. I have the all access and I downloaded um, some fonts and some uh, funny uh, PNG images. Let's see, I'll go and find some here to show you what I downloaded. I'll have a link below for uh, Creative Fabrica. They have some really great things. So I decided to go with like some Mother's Day um, things and some other sarcastic funny things. Now, one thing you want to remember when you download, it's going to come in a zipped file. So you have to open that zipped file and extract your files, which I already did. I just wanted to show you that. So let's go back here to my downloads and let's look at some of these. Um, let's go. Okay. These are fonts. I guess we can start in the fonts. Um, the, uh, I'm going to open some of these and I will put them on my computer as well as I will upload some into Canva so that you can see how to do that. Now I've already extracted these. So let's go back here, make sure that I open the right file here. Go to my fonts. Yes, I wanna make sure I'm using the ones that are already extracted. And so I will pick, I don't know what these look like, um, but I will pick this and see what it looks like here. A, a Sista signature. And you want to use the open type font files. True type font is just an older version. You have more options with the open type font. So I'm going to click on that and you can see what it's going to look like. And then you just hit install and this will put it onto your computer. So if you're using something like Cricut Design Space or whatever they're called, you're going to have to close that program and then reopen it. Let's see, what is this called? assist a signature. So I'll actually open a Word document here, open a new one, and um, I will change this to assist a PQR. Let's see, I hope I have to close it completely. I had Word open, so I will close this and I will open a new Word document so that we can look at it here. Let's get this open. And now let's look for our new font. A-S-P-Q-R. There it is, Assist a Signature. This is it. I have it capped, so I'll take my caps off. This is it. And I'll make this bigger so that you can see it. But you can see how easy it is to add your fonts in onto your computer. So now let's take this font and go into our Creative Fabrica and under tools here, you will see Font Cloud. So you're going to want to open up Font Cloud. I'm gonna open my Font Cloud here and we will upload that font into our Font Cloud as well. So let's browse for that. Let's find it here, right here. This is the signature and we'll upload it into our font cloud and we'll see that's just that easy to do. Now we will see once it's done, we'll see if it has any um, glyphs or uh, swash, swooshes, whatever you want to call them. So I'll let this populate here. Uh, and we can come back to this as well, but we'll let it populate. But you see how easy that is. Now we have it in the font cloud. So let's go and upload it into our Canva while we're waiting for this to populate here. So what you would do is just go to add a text box. This is the easiest way for me to do it. Add a text box. Then up here where it tells you what your text is, Canva Sand, click on that because you're going to want to change that and upload a font. And now I'm going to upload that open type font, assist a signature. And yes, we can upload it. We have permission because I have the all access. So here it goes. And now we can look for 
that font. Here it is. And that will change the font here for you as well. So see how easy that is? So let's get that, make this a little bit smaller so it stays on the page here. So let's change this. I'll just call it Asista. No, Asita. Or whatever, however, it's, whatever it's called. So now let's go back to our font cloud and see if this is done. Okay, here we go. So now our letters are in the font cloud. So let's look and see if there's anything fancy here that we can add. And there really isn't um, a couple things that you could change here, but not much. So let's let's upload another one. Go to our font cloud here and let's upload another font. Uh, go to our downloads and here's click on that. Um, let's do this Carly Butterfly and see what we get. So we're going to do open type font and we're going to pull that in. So let's go and bring that into, where is that now, Carly? I always forget what they're called. So now let's go, oh, here we go. It came in. So let's see if there's any glyphs with this. Uh, Yeah, there is. There's some cute little hearts here. So now let's go and upload that into our Canva. So we'll add another text box here and we'll go to upload a font again. And I'm going to do that open type font here and I'm going to upload that. And I've got to remember what it's called here. Carly B. Carly right here. Carly Butterfly. So we'll call well, that's what we'll name it. Carly butterfly. Now let's go back to our font cloud and see if, make this bigger so you can see it. We'll go back to our font cloud here now and we will look for um, the Y. We know we have a Y in butterfly, so let's get that one. U, V, W, X, Y. Oh, that's cute. So all you do is you click on it and then it says character copied to clipboard here. So then you go back into Canva and you just put your cursor where you want it, you backspace, control V will bring that in. And there is that beautiful glyph. So let's see what it's got for the capital C. It might not have anything for capital C, but we will look. But you can see these cute glyphs that it has here. Um, Go up. But that is how you can bring those into your program. And we can also add that, um, let's go back and add that to our computer as well. So you just open it up and again, you just, oops, I'm in the wrong one here. I wanna go and get the one that we were just working on that Carly, uh, right here, Carly Butterfly. So you open up the open type font and you just hit install and that'll put it on your computer as well. Okay, All so right. now so let's now upload some images. So I'm going to go to Upload File here, and I'm going to go to my Downloads, and we are going to look at some of these images. I'm going to open this file that says Vintage Mother's Day Funny, and I, there are a couple swear words in here, so just be aware of that. I'm just going to bring all of these in, uploaded here, and here they come up. Um, I'm going to pick one of these. And we'll do some changes to it. I'm going to add a page here. Just hit click add a page. Uh, let's do my time alone is for everyone's safety. That's cute. This tough as a mother is cute. Mama needs wine. Let's just bring this one in. Mama needs wine. I'm going to stretch it out all the way. And I'm going to go up here to where it says edit. And you can see here that it's got some colors that came in right here. So if we click on these colors, you can change that. So let's go, let's try this one and change it to pink. We can always go back. And now let's see how it changes the color of her clothes. And then this brown, and this is going to be a lot of skin tone. So we got to be careful with this one. Let's go with yellow on that. But you see how you can change the color? Isn't that adorable? So now I'm going to add another page and I'll bring that same image in. I'm going to go to my uploads and I'm going to bring that same image in here. And now we'll work on this one. See if it's done uploading. I'm not sure if it's done. There isn't much editing we can do until it's completely done. Let's hit background remover. 
I mean, it doesn't have a background, but that's how I know that it finished uploading. So that, um, yeah, so it's done uploading. So now we can go to edit here as well. Like I said, you can change your colors here, but you can go here to edit and then go to image and adjust. And you can start playing with some color changes here as well. Do you see how that is changing? And the tint here, you can change that. Um, we can change the light and the dark, you know, brighten it up. You can do this with the photo as well. I don't think I have a photo in here that we can work on, but this would be where you would adjust the colors for your photos as well. So if your photo comes in light or dark, or if you need to take some shadows out, so maybe I do have a photo that I could show you. Let's click on this. Let's just scroll down and see if I have any photos in here. Um, let's try. I do have some photos, but there is one that someone had me make a puzzle for her granddaughter or grandson. I might go back to that one. I don't know that I have, it'll be a long way down to find the other ones, but let's pull in a photo here and we'll just play with it for a second. This one was really hard for me to make a puzzle with because of the dark color uh, in there. So the first thing I would do is go into edit and adjust. And the first thing would be the brightness. So you'd wanna brighten this up. And then the contrast, you know, you could brighten that up as well. So this is what I had to do to this photo to get it better for his puzzle because it was just so dark. You know, you can see how dark it was. And it really, I really wanted to be able to see his face in this. And then again, you can work on the highlights and the lowlights and, and shadowing, you know, so... Um, so I did end up using this one for the puzzle and was able to edit that. So now let's go back here and we'll play with some of these colors. And we will go in here and we'll check, take this brown again. And we can work on, you can go in here too. And you can see it's right here in the color palette here. So you could move it a little bit and change that and you see how that changed that slightly. We'll go back and then go forward again. You can see how that watch the dress change color. So um, those are ways that you can change it. Now we can also go in and we can go into edit. And like I said, I have the Canva Pro so I can use the magic eraser here. And you can go in and take things like this out um, if you want to, uh, and then you can change things as well. So let's hit erase and that will take those little star designs out. And so now we'll go back to our page and then you could also add, you can go under elements here and we can add, let's add some glitter to this. Uh, so you could put some glitter behind. So if you pull something in like this, make sure that you click here position and you're gonna send it to the back. You want that behind your image. Then we can go up here to the color and we can change the color as well. You can make it match a little bit better to your design, you know, if you want something like that. Um, let's uh, go here, we'll add a page and we'll go back to our uploads here and let's upload some more images here. Let's go to my downloads again, let's see what else I have here. Funny sublimation bundle. Um, let's just pull all these. Oops, there's a couple naughty words in there too. So just note that I did not do that intentionally. Uh, let's see. Hey, well, that one's got it. Let's see what this one says. Someone cares, but not me. But me, not me, but someone. Trust me, someone cares, not me, but someone. Okay, this is cute. The little sarcastic one here. So now let's see what we can do with this design. So again, you could um, you could go right in here after it is done and go into edit and we can use a background remover and you could change uh, these letters, to, you know, get rid of the letters. Let's see, I don't use this one very often, but let's see, grab text and see what we can do here. 
click on this and see if we can delete it. Yeah, so you could actually get rid of the, oops, backspace there. You could actually get rid of the text that way as well. So we'll go back to edit and go here to grab text. And I don't know, quite know how to do this. We'll do this together and we'll get rid of it. Let's see what it does. So now you can move the text out. You see how that works? But now you're gonna wanna go in and edit this again because um, you're gonna wanna do magic eraser because now you can see that there are some things in there that you'd want to get rid of anyway. So let's erase that and let's go back to that magic grab again. That was kind of fun. So let's see what we can do here. Um, so again, you go to edit. This one we can still, that's separate now, so I could totally delete that. All right, so let's go to edit again. And let's go to remove the text again, grab text. And also you can you can move it. So let's try to move it here. So hit grab. And you could actually move it, you know, anywhere that you want. So, oh, but it did leave a little bit of a background on the cow, I see. So let's delete this and let's go in and see what this looks like now if you go in and we'll, let's go to Magic Eraser and then you could kind of smooth this out to, so that you could lose that that was down there. And then you can add your own text. And you know, their Creative Fabrica has so many awesome fonts that we could write the same thing. Um, so we could go to text here and we could find a cute text. So let's just do move over. And I'm gonna just put that up here. Whoops, that to the back, get a hold of this. And it, of course it grabbed the font that we were just working with. And so you can absolutely change that font here. So let's click on the font, highlight the font, and we can go and pick another font to use. Let's use this Carly Butterfly. And we'll make it smaller. And of course you can, I just, you know, you can say whatever you want here, but let's go and grab some of those swashes here. So the M is here. Let's see what else we got. Hit the R maybe, huh? Move over R right here. Wrong way. Uh, P Q R. Here we go. Click on it. We copied it to the clipboard and then you go in and again, you just backspace over and control V. So, I mean, you can do whatever you want. So now we've edited some photos here are some PNG images. You can make them your own, uh, change things. So I hope this helped and have a great day. Like my video, subscribe to my channel for more upcoming videos. Thank you for taking the time to watch my video. Please like my video, subscribe to my channel, see links below and leave me a comment.